What's going on everybody? So hey, it's good to be back and getting some videos out. I was kind of here in my little quarantine area. I just got out a few days ago, so I'm trying to get a couple of videos out, at least sort of kind of spaced out a little bit, uh, you know, for the remainder of my trip. Uh, but check it out. I was editing part two of the garage sales video. And as I was personally listening to it myself, I was realizing I'm not even understanding what really what I was saying to a certain point and and so I was uh, it was recalled from the part one it was getting dark it was getting late um, I at this point I had been up all day working walking around doing all kind of things so I was really starting to get tired that blood sugar was pretty low but uh, and, and so it, the results was I was starting to sound pretty drunk towards the at the beginning there it gets a little bit better by the end because it started getting a little bit more pep in my step and my explanations become better but please bear with with me I will be showing you what I'm doing in this video and it will definitely make sense by the end um, but without further ado let's end it all right so I got the five main support uh, brick mechanisms for the shelves uh, at least uh, you know the part that's gonna be connected to the wall and let me show you get up a little closer here let me show you kind of what I was doing so basically what I would do on for every single one is I would go ahead and drill through lower the board then go ahead and go with the drill all the way into the wall just to make sure that I got deep um, for the uh, you know um, pre drill in the hole for the lag bolts and and then after that once I had let me go ahead and go back to wide now once I had it basically set up on the left and the right side I, I would go ahead and drill them in just slightly and uh, go ahead and make the holes uh, for that for each uh, each bolt on that sh particular level, let it either lower or raise it so I had access to the wall, and then go ahead and drill the um, either further into the studs for the lag bolts, and then I'd go ahead and put it up. As you saw, I would uh, put it the put the lag bolt in, and then put in every single one. Now my uh, um, for my impact wrench, it was doing pretty good. But I only got a 2AU battery, and actually I'm pretty surprised that it uh, didn't die on me because I was driving the um, lag bolts into about halfway before I decided to go ahead. It was just easier to do it with hand. Um, but yeah, now, so what I'm going to do on the next step is I already have... Uh, I already have basically one set up so and every one is level you're seeing me multiple multiple times checking to make sure my measurements are good because I do not trust myself when it comes to measurements I don't take measurements often and you saw even at the very beginning um, my measurements were off because the goal is to fit basically a, a container this size and I had 14 inches but as soon as you added the 14 inches along with the the one and three eighths. I didn't have enough. The, plus, along with the with the um, plywood, then I didn't have enough space when I did 14 inches. So I went to 15 inches, uh, a little bit lower now, but I, I still think I'll have plenty of space to go ahead and fit lots of things in underneath there. Um, so yeah. So now the next step, what I'm going to do is, like I'm mentioning, I'm going to go ahead and take the ones that don't have the the shelves part already uh, installed to them. I'm going to go ahead and put the one that goes to the center. I'm going to put it to the center. Draw the line so at least that's accounting for very minimal variability along the floor because I'm only going to go two feet out. And then I'll do that on the center and on the side. Draw the lines and then I'll go ahead and uh, here's probably better for me to come in here. Then I'll go ahead and once I had once I basically create the lines all the way across and you can see how I made a mistake here. Even drilled in. Um, I'll go ahead and then draw the line to where it's supposed to be and then install those little shelf brackets that I'm making on part of these legs. All right, so hey, time to send the next step. I got a, I got a lot, I got a lot. This took a lot of time, but you know, with me leaving in the next few days, I, 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 leaving tomorrow rather, I just got to get this done for my family. So um, here in two days when this thing is fully cured, they can go ahead and just start bringing everything in and have some shelves to go ahead and start putting things on. So you know what, I, I may get minimal sleep tonight, but it's just things you got to do. All right, let's get to the next step.
that. Uh, and then, uh, it's, the, it's the father. It's his garage. All right, well, you may have caught it, uh, or you may not have. I may not have shown enough information. But basically, I am supposed to have 24 inches from within the, here to the wall. So, and uh, right now, I am exactly this length too long. I was originally thinking that uh, um, I was only going to take off for one, but I forgot I was going to add this part onto it. So, I need to go ahead and remove remove that now um, so that kind of sucks because it's night at night and I would really like to get finished with this and get done but hey you just you, you gotta get you just like I said things keep getting in your way including yourself and you just gotta you just gotta keep with it until you're done so let's go ahead and just make that last cut do the pocket holes on the 15 freaking <laughs> extensions or supports uh, cross members and then let's finish it all right let's do it
right, so we got uh, these resized and pocket holes are been in, reapplied. And so now it's just time for me to go ahead and connect these. And let me show you kind of what it's gonna look like real fast. So if you can imagine, I'm basically gonna connect, connect it here and then on the other side, I'm gonna connect it to right here. So that's what you're gonna see me doing. All right, yeah, so let's, let's send it. the main structure is up and standing next I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, plywood on top and uh, see see how it stands now I gotta as I'm looking at it I was thinking I was gonna be trying to do 10 feet which was basically gonna be eight feet over here and two feet over here and then later when I get the next piece I'm gonna extend the top one all the way over um, and I'm gonna be hanging my bikes and everything and putting equipment down over there um, but uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Um, I have some extra, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Um, but let's see how it looks. Let's do it. Man, it's
it's 11.15. I got to be up at 3 o'clock. I'm tired. But man, it, but it's done. Well, let me rephrase that. The phase one is complete. You can tell it's not filled in over here. And the reason why is because eventually when I get, I'm going to probably get my 2 by 6 to go across here because I'm going to use the extra width basically to put hooks and stuff on to hang bikes and things like that. And then I'm going to carry it over um, almost another eight feet. I think it's going to be about seven feet before it actually gets here, maybe a little less. Um, and then plus here, and let me take you up to the front. So you can see it kind of like this, this doesn't look too good. You know, I spent all this time and it's kind of sitting like that. Well, what I'm going to be doing is getting some angle irons. That's why I didn't necessarily bolt it down every, screw it down every foot or so and, you know, really try to batten down the hatches. But uh, I'm going to be getting some angle iron and putting it up front here. And it's at least going to hide this and bring this so it's a little bit more level. Um, and then come all the way out to the edges here on either side. So, yeah, that's that's going to be a wrap for phase one of the of the of the shelves. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope my family enjoys being able to get some of the things out of the living room and getting them in here while I'm away for the next few weeks. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.